Apple's new iPad Pro goes on sale November 11th. Facebook's testing facial recognition in Messenger photo sharing. HipChat maker Atlassian files to go public and more. It's Monday, November 9th, and this is Crunch Report. Okay, the time has come for people who like big iPads. The 12.9 inch iPad Pro, which was announced at Apple's event back in September, officially goes on sale in 40 countries starting Wednesday, November 11th, online to start with retail stores selling the Pro later in the week. The Apple Pencil and the Smart Keyboard, which were also showed off at the event, will also be available online right away on the 11th. Now the iPad Pro is $799 to start for the base model, which ships with 32 gigabytes of internal memory, or a $1,079 model includes both Wi-Fi and cellular connections and has 128 gigabytes of memory. A reminder that the iPad Pro also has a high-def 12.9 3-inch screen and allows split full-screen multitasking. It also has an A9X chip that's 1.8 times faster than the previous A8 chip in the iPad, has 10 hours of battery life, an 8-megapixel iSight camera, Touch ID, and four speakers of audio. Facebook Messenger's newest feature is based around the fact that you are too lazy to send photos to your friends. You want to, your intentions are good, but then you just forget, and then they ask, and then they stop asking, and then too much time goes by, and then nobody cares about all those photos from that wedding. Photo Magic, as it's called, scans all the new photos in your camera roll using facial recognition, and then suggests sending certain pictures to the friends that it recognizes, because they probably want pictures of themselves. The test is rolling out in Facebook's test market of choice, that would be Australia, today on Android and later this week on iOS before reaching other countries if it takes off. Still just a test. Now, Facebook is using the same facial recognition technology that powers its photo tag suggestions and standalone moments app with photo magic inside of Messenger. So this technology already existed. It's nothing new. But director of product management Peter Martinazzi tells TechCrunch that about 9.5 billion photos were sent inside Messenger in the last month. So it's growing even faster than Messenger overall, which is itself growing really fast. By the way, if this creeps you out and you just don't want to be recognized, you can opt out with the same privacy controls that turn off tag suggestions. Atlassian, which makes enterprise-focused social products like Slack competitor HipChat, uh, Jira, Confluence, to name a few, just filed to go public on NASDAQ under the ticker TEAM, with the IPO expected to raise around $250 million. The exact number will be determined later, though. The company's F1 notes that net income for the last three years has been positive, although it did shrink a lot in the last year because of some R&D. It was $10.8 million in 2013, down to $6.8 million this year. The company claims more than 5 million monthly active users with 48,000 organizations as customers that include Fitbit, PayPal, Visa, NASA, MIT, Nordstrom, Tesla, Cisco, and Adobe. Pretty good group. Atlassian is based in Sydney, Australia, and has raised $210 million for a current valuation of over $3 billion. Congrats on the unicorn ship. A company called Lucid has prototyped a point-and-shoot VR camera that's easy to use, doesn't look horrible, doesn't need post-production, and will set you back about $299. Sounds pretty great, right? Lucid CEO Han Jin tells TechCrunch's Drew Olinoff that it all started out when the team was working on outfitting robots with cameras and then using those robots to see things in other places that they weren't physically. For example, putting an Oculus headset on a robot and then sending the robot off. But after many prototypes, Lucid found that the camera shooting in VR just made more sense than a robot altogether. So they kind of ripped out the eyes to work on the Lucid cam itself. It currently shoots in 180 degrees and avoids the stitching issues that often accompany 360 degree video. And as a consumer app, which this is definitely focused on, that requires less legwork, no tripods, keeps the file size down. That's always important when you want to export and share with others as quickly as possible. And it looks pretty promising in the early days. Lucidcam's current Indiegogo campaign is over half funded with its current goal of $100,000 and has 46 days remaining. Jin says that China is a likely place for manufacturing to take place to help keep that $299 price point and that a bigger round of funding is also on the way.
TensorFlow, it's a technology you may not have heard of, but it powers some pretty important stuff. Google's photo search, speech recognition and the Google's app, and the brand new smart reply feature for its email app inbox. And now Google's open sourcing it. TensorFlow started as a project from researchers and engineers working on the Google Brain team in Google's machine intelligence research organization. But then the team realized that any gradient-based machine learning algorithm can use TensorFlow for differentiation and optimization with the ultimate goal of building a technology that works similarly to the human brain. No pressure at all, right? Google CEO Sundar Pichai explains that by open sourcing the tech, the company can speed up research on machine learning and benefit a lot more people by identifying what's in photos and videos, understanding speech, reading and understanding written text, to name a few. And that is the report for this Monday. I am Sarah Lane. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You can find us on iTunes as well and on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow.